Welcome to Air Traffic Green Light. Today we're going to be looking at arrival procedures for landing. You can see our planes are coming in and following their routes automatic and landing at their respective uh, runways that I've uh, selected, either 24 left or 25 right in this case. And then you can go ahead and when you create your own, you can put them at any runway, any airport you want. So in this video, I will show you how you can create your own arrival procedures for landing at an airport. So the first thing we're going to want to do is create some custom waypoints for our, all of our origin, uh, origin default waypoints. So let's just go ahead and start laying down some waypoints. The entry points into our radar area. And this way we can control, start to control our speed and our altitude when the aircraft enters our airspace. There's other ways uh, to doing this, but I'm going to show you one way. It's a way that I usually like to do it. So now that we've created our entry waypoints, I want to go up here. Let's go ahead and first I'll make some more waypoints into the airport. And one thing I like to do, since this particular waypoint canoe, in this case, is going to be our location for all the aircraft to converge before they land. I like to change the way that it uh, its appearance. Let's go ahead and make it yellow. So you can change it into a star. You can actually change the color of the other ones as well if you want to, but I won't do that right now. Now we want to create our routes. Let's first create our uh, routes into the airport. For I'm going to go ahead and make two routes into 24 left and 25 right. So let's go ahead and name this not 34, 24. And this um, comes in at canoe. Two four left, and we'll put it at just approach. That should be good enough, and it'll do the rest. The plane will do the rest when it comes in. And we'll do another one. Two five right, and this is going to go into two five right. And so we can see the difference. We'll go ahead and make this one an orange. All right, so there we go. And now we have to make our waypoints, our routes into canoe. This will be, well, we'll just do this J. One and then at canoe, since um, this is purely optional, but I'm going to make uh, the bottom ones come into two five right since this runway is closer. So you select it for that route. We'll do child there to two five right. 
this will be T1. And continuing on around. Proxy. Of course, you can name these however you want to. Just doing it um, so that I can know the origin of these. And before I get too far, let's go ahead and control our speed and our altitudes. I'm going to put them all at 5,000 for sake of demonstration. And we're going to get them slowed right on down when the planes enter. Just continue on with stage. And we'll put it at 2.4 left. And then we've got another one. Of course, you can always, you could make other uh, waypoints going into maybe 2.4 right if you want to. It's a shorter runway in this case, or you can go to 2.5 left. You can do it however you would like. You can also do it into the other direction for when the wind changes. I didn't name this one. Pluto is from Sol. So we'll go with S1, Solidid. Solid. And this one is AP. I'm naming these a little bit so that when we do our actual setup, our arrival procedures, it'll be a little bit easier to recognize the routes. Uh, naming in this is quite important for under for when you get more complex routes, more routes. Um, Marco, where do we want? We'll come in at two, five, right. Okay, so there we've got our route set up. Now let's come up to arrival procedures. And our first one is Jared. So let's do arrive, Jared. five right so two five right nope the route is j1 yep we want the first thing that it comes into when the plane enters that is from Jared two conditions we want destination and it's the airport in this case it's KLAX Follow the plan, and it's not a transit, it's an arrival. So you make sure you switch it to arrival. I duplicated it, so we can just redo another one. This is arrive from Tanner to 25 right. Following the T1 route sure you pick the correct origin waypoint and then this is already set and here's our arrival from Asens or Asens and I believe I selected it for 25 right to check that again in case I didn't. We can always double check, which is a good idea. And this is from ASINs. And then we've got our apples. And this is 2 4 left. from 
apples and it's all set up again so we just continue to duplicate two four left and our final one is Beffin make sure that's a thing I went on and I didn't make sure this route was selected correctly. You can see as you get more routes it's important that when you make your routes they're kind of understandable to you. And this one is going to be the Beffin one, so B1. And I'm going to name it. So if we did this correctly, the top two well it won't matter because once they come in they'll be going into those particular error runways. So as long as this is all set up correctly. So we've got to recap, we've got our two runway routes, and this is where it designates which particular runway you want it to break off of and go into for the and then here we've got our J1 route going into 25 right our T1 route going into 25 right our AC1 route from Athens going to 25 right our apples going to 24 left and solid going into 24 left then Beffin going into 25 right we did everything correctly we should when we hit play we should get our planes landing let me do one more check of our make sure we've got our altitude set correct yep okay so we've got our first plane it may not follow this route yet it may have been already in the queue and in that case it'll ignore my our routes that we've created, our arrival procedure. We'll see here. I believe that plane was already already queued up, so oh, it is going to follow it. So AC1 dropping down to 5,000 feet, and then we've got it slowing down to 150 knots. And if you remember, I believe this plane is going into 25 right. see it here we've got another one coming in following the that's following the AC1 route that is not correct that's what happens when you don't um, check things correctly so apples from the AP1 stage it's on um, this side is where it's not correct. Yep, we did not make sure this was correct. This is AP1 and solid is S1. It's quite easy to forget something. It's not a big deal right now. It's going to follow the route and then continue on. This one's doing the B1 route, and this plane here is doing in, going into 25 right as intended. So if you mess up like that and it goes into a different route, it's not the end of the world. And these are all planes coming into 25 right. I believe this one is going to come into 25 right, and we may have a collision issue here. Yeah, and this is what happens when you've got two planes coming in at the same altitude. 
So we'll go ahead and uh, divert this plane over to S1. And I'll turn him this way. There we go. So you do kind of have to manage your separation still. That's what's great about this game is you still get to do things. It's not all completely automated. So now this plane is going into 2-4 left since I set it to the to S1. Alright, this plane is going to come down here to J1. We'll just give it, you set him into J1. He'll come down here to Topic and then come in. So, I'd like to see a plane come in here from the top. Everybody's going to be going into 2-5 right. All right. That's why it's a good idea to not have uh, planes crossing runways landing. Closer, to, as long as the runways, the runways that are closer to their origin is the best, in my opinion. But there is a correct way, and I don't know that way. I'm not a pilot. So these got there are two planes coming in and on, on their runways. Twos are two four left here. These guys are too close, probably. So one's going to go around. Looks like they, yep, there's a go around. And then um, we'll send them down here to J1, get in line. But that's the way to do arrivals. You can, of course, do mix up your routes and change them and can actually hide your uh, routes as well. Maybe I'll show that really quickly here. Just come up here and don't want to hide that one. Let's hide the S1 route so we can see that. Hide it here and you can show the line if you want. I mean you can show an arrow if you just want an arrow. Like toggling these bot buttons here. So now you've just got arrows and you can see your planes coming in without the line. So makes it a little bit cleaner when you've got a lot of planes. For the most part, the planes will follow the routes as they're intended. See, this plane did not, and I missed it. But uh, when you're playing the game, you'll be able to manage your planes a little bit easier. Thanks for watching. American 6, Nero 6, heavy, bring our contact. Let's watch this one come into 2 4 left. United 3 9 2 heavy, bring our contact. American 3 4 Nero, bring our contact.